Hi, I'm James Norton for Chow.com Super Taster. Just back from the boundary waters between Minnesota and Canada. Did some canoeing up there. Uh, tried some dark chocolate cheesecake. I'll probably post that review up on Facebook as a little extra. And speaking of Facebook, check out my page if you haven't recently. I've got a cool new cover illustration by Richard Jones Muhammad. Richard, thank you so much. Love that kind of stuff. Now, down to today's topic. Domino's Pizza has rolled out a new pan pizza. A lot of fanfare, a lot of commercials out there for it. They're pumping it hard. Uh, I'm interested in giving it a shot, maybe first and foremost because I have a really complicated relationship with Domino's. I used to just totally, totally, totally hate Domino's. Domino's to me was the opposite of pizza. Uh, I, would, I would put Domino's in my mouth and I would stop being interested in pizza for like a month. Um, they rolled out that new, uh, we're really sorry for making bad pizza, now we're making good pizza campaign. I got on board, I thought they'd redeem themselves, and that quality kind of slid downhill. So I'm coming to this Domino's pan pizza with a giant question mark over my head. And it retails right now with coupon for about $8, full price about $13.50. Now, a lot of times when I review a product, I have trouble knowing what context to judge it in, but... Domino's made it easy for me. If you go to their website, there's like four little points you can highlight over their picture of a pan pizza that tell you exactly what they're going to promise you. First point, made from fresh, never frozen dough. So I'm going to taste this pizza, and if it doesn't taste like cardboard, I'll probably give them credit. It's nice. There's a little bit of um, almost yeasty liveliness there. Um, so yeah, credit. Good for them. Fresh, never frozen dough. I'll buy it. Now they claim crisp golden crust with a buttery taste. Could be crispier. A lot of buttery taste. Possibly too much buttery taste. It's kind of frightening how buttery the buttery taste is. Next point. Two layers of cheese in every bite. You've got kind of a conventional pizza cheese on top and then a, almost like a, a more neutral layer of string cheese or very, very mild mozz under that... Uh, slightly more assertive cheese on top. Two layers of cheese, tastes that way. Um, yeah, credit for that too. Last point, toppings all the way to the edge. No, totally not. It is a totally normal piece of pizza with a thing of crust and then the toppings start, you know, like oh, almost a full inch, a half inch to a full inch in. So check back in six months. I'll try this again and see if they're actually keeping up with their promises because eh, sometimes they slip a little bit. I'm watching you, Domino's. I'm on your case. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll be back in a couple more days with more food. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you don't already. For Chow.com Super Taster, I'm James Norton.